Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Celebrity Cars, 1970 Cadillac convertible. White interior, red dashboard, some red piping going on in there, lots of chrome, it's beautiful. Welcome to Celebrity Cars, ladies and gentlemen. We're located in Las Vegas. You come down here on vacation, you gotta come in and check us out. We've got muscle cars and Ferraris and exotic cars and all kinds of cool stuff, so you gotta come check us out. Now listen, uh, why is this so extra special? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, believed to be uh, uh, 32,000 original miles. Uh, it shows on the odometer. We believe it to be uh, 32 original, thousand, uh, original, uh, original miles. Um, we believe it to be, so there you have it. Uh, it shows on the odometer. It's just over 32. And boy, if you crawl underneath this car, if you pop the hood, if you crawl around the interior, does it have some wear? Sure it does. Uh, but uh, for a survivor, this is, uh, this is pretty darn cool. Okay, so what am I doing here? I'm your living, breathing condition report. I go over, uh, let's, let's just keep walking around here, Quincy, uh, <clears throat> so they can get a whole gist of this car. Um, I go over you know, where scratches may be, where rust may be. Uh, look at the tires, look at the convertible top, look at the overall paint. Is there any uh, paint that looks like it's different than the other paint? So on and so forth. So I give you my two cents, and just in case you don't want to travel today, or uh, you've been looking all over for one of these, and before you come down, you want to check it out, you got to go through me first. So if you're super, super interested in purchasing, purchasing this car, uh, you don't want to skip ahead on anything on this car. You don't want to just skip ahead and wait for me to drive it. You don't want to do any of those things. You want to follow along with me so I can give you to the best I can inside the showroom with some skylights and our fancy new lights in here, uh, the best overall condition of this car. So come on down. Let's hone in on this front bumper. I always like to start in the front of the car. This is where the environment meets the car the most, and we go over road wear and all those things. Do I know if this car's ever been reconditioned in any way, shape, or form? Painted? Has the chrome been redone? I have no idea. <coughs> but I will tell you this chrome, uh, a one out of 10, I'm gonna give it a really good, solid nine. So what's that mean? Well. I gotta let the camera do the rest of the work there, folks. Uh, there are no big gouges in any of this chrome. There's no rust coming through on the bottom. It's all super nice and clean. The grill is all one piece. The chrome around the grill is, is like a, a nine and a half. There's a fraction of a ding right there. Uh, there's no heavy cuts into it. There's no heavy gouges. And uh, I don't see really anything wrong that I need to pick apart. It would be a, a, a shame to do so. I've already told you, you know, the, the chrome isn't 100% perfect, but boy, gosh darn, it's awfully close. These pieces here are beautiful. They're all intact. The chrome around the headlights are beautiful. There's barely any sign of wear. Come on over here and let's look at this one real quick too driver's side headlight and there's barely you know how you normally get those little pitting things down here and your finger hits them and it feels like you know little pimples along it's nothing it's nothing along here just so you know okay so this is the kind of thing that you get from celebrity cars we do this on every single car folks so if you don't like this one you want to look at the next one I go over it the same way all this is really really great let's talk paint I see a little bit of touch-up paint right there tastefully done uh, I don't know when it was done, and, uh, but it's there, and you can barely see it. My face is uh, nine inches away from the car, so uh, you know I'm gonna see these things, but uh, normally you wouldn't, nor would your friends. Super small little mark right there. I see a super small little mark over here in this section. I'm talking super small, folks. I'm just going over the, uh, you know, the nose of the car right here. Am I going to, you know, get into detail of every single little itty bitty mark along here? Well, you know, pro 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 probably not. Um, but you can, you can over get at the overall gist of what's going on here just by the nose up front itself. Let's uh, look up onto the hood. And let me see if I see any dings. I see any scratches. I see any hail damage. I see something bent. And wow, white. I'm sure it is. Uh, uh, listen, 
Let, yeah, okay, see, we, we like to work together, a, a camera guy and me, a Quincy and stuff like that, okay? So uh, there really is nothing to show. It might be hard to focus on, but there really, there really is, a, you know, concentrate on the reflection. Um, you know, is it a pure, you know, 2021 Bentley paint, high gloss, complete, see your reflection, you know, call it a, a little, but, but nothing, you know, this is an older car. You know, you know these things. While we're here, let's look at the top of the dash right here. This beautiful red dash. I do see a small cut right there in the dash. We'll look at that again when we get inside the car, but there, there's a small cut right there on the dash, but the rest of it seems to be real nice. I do know that there's something going on inside the driver's side door right here. Um, you know, just a, 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 little, a little bit of decay is, is all it is. This is what happens when you get to these. Let's go down the passenger side of the car. I think I feel more comfortable with starting with that. We'll get the rest of the hood taken care of. This is all the same, folks, as the other side of the car. This chrome trim down the side. Look at this chrome piece right here. Look at that one. These always get all gunked up. And that's beautiful. It's a beautiful shape. Once again, there's that little small cut and the rest of the top of this dash looks really good. The windshield while we're here looks absolutely fabulous. Do I see maybe a couple light scratches in it from, you know, an old uh, wiper blade? Yeah, maybe, but nothing, uh, you know, real grave dug in. We have to replace the windshield, none of those things. Okay, let's go down the side of the car. This passenger side, we'll start working our way. Check out this chrome. It's beautiful. It's like almost nine and a half to almost 10 condition right here. This is beautiful right here. The rubber gasket, I just noticed that now because it's so clean and so black that it almost looks chrome. This is in great shape. This chrome piece all the way around the wheel well is terrific. I would like to also let you know, and if Quincy, if you could shine the camera just down this portion right here. Yeah, do it from that side. See that? I, I, I wanna just stay right there for a moment. Um, this, this part here, you know, normally gets road wear, folks, even unless you have a great big stupid mud flap here, right, which you don't. You get, you get a couple of nicks and stuff like that, just normal road wear. There's some here that had some um, touch-up paint put on it, tastefully. It looks like it was done a very long time ago and it looks good and you can barely see it. And then if you continue to work your way down to this section right here, this seems to be a, uh, you know, just a little, seems to be something going on. Um, there may be, I, I don't know. I opened up the door. I don't see anything big going on here. That looks like a paint drip. I'm not really sold that that's what that is. Um, you know, maybe it is. Maybe there's another one here. I'm not really sure. But I'll tell you what, it's, it doesn't look like this thing was painted anytime recently. That's not my point because I don't really know the, the, the bottom line to that if this car was ever painted or not. I do know that it's all one white, but here's the big scoop that you'd want to know, I'm sure. I went around this entire car with a magnet before we filmed, okay? Stuck, 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 stuck. Not stucco, the magnet stuck to the car, which means this hasn't been molested at all as far as I'm concerned with any uh, putty or body work. This is all steel along here. I've also run my hand along the bottom of both sides of the car. We're gonna try and get a couple photographs of underneath right along the ledges so you can actually see how clean the undercarriage of this car is. Um, <clears throat> but no, I haven't seen any rust. I haven't seen any of that stuff. Is there a couple little things going on? Yeah, but I mean, but it's years from surfacing, if it's anything at all. That's just, I, I, I know it sounds like I'm skirting around something, but I'm not. Um, this is beautiful. Uh, believe it or not, I'm going to throw this little thing in here. We have another one in red. Check our site. You're going to see that up next. Okay. But there's no body work along here with any putty, okay? Uh, it's all steel. And this is beautiful. All the way down the side of the car. The skirts are beautiful. The tires are in good shape. The hubcaps, we didn't talk about it up front. We don't need to. Absolutely beautiful. Back here, I do have a couple small little chips. See these? One, little touch of paint right there, little touch of paint right there, a uh, little mark, little mark, little mark, little mark, little mark, little mark, get it? And one right there. Other than that, beautiful. I want to check out this stripe down the side. There's not one blue bloom in my finger. There's not one warble. Oh, I do see a little nick right there too. Let's, let me point that out. This is a little chip right there. Just wanted to show you. Hard to see. Okay. Uh, side mirror, 
Boy, look at the chrome. It's unbelievable. It's beautiful. Chrome, beautiful. We'll get to the convertible top in a moment. The windows are just beautiful, pristine. I've got nothing to pick out. I will tell you, well, I'll show you a little later, um, these rear windows on this particular car are a little slow. Slow to go down, slow to go up. I did have one of my buddies grab a hold of it and help him get it up. So these motors are a little, a, a little a low in, uh, in, in life juice, okay? So, but uh, anyway, these passengers and uh, driver's side are just fine. The chrome door handle, look at that. What year is this car? Crazy. All right. The chrome trim. Oh, yeah, this chrome molding. So there's so much to talk about about these cars. I know you Cadillac guys are drooling right now. I mean, these, these, I, mean, I, I you, you better be because <laughs> uh, it's pretty. Look at this section right here. Check this out. It's beautiful. Look at the top of this trunk. I've got nothing to point out. We'll get over there to that joint in just a moment. We're gonna kneel down here, look at the chrome around the tail lights. The tail lights are all one piece here on this passenger side. Um, the chrome is stunning. Chrome, stunning, Cadillac logo, stunning. This back here just has a, a hair bit of patina, so these colors aren't bright and shiny, but uh, they're all in one piece, they're all nice. They're all in there, and they're all in good shape. There's your door, door lock. This rear bumper, folks, wow. This is just really something. It's really something. Okay, now I had an idea. So hold the camera right there. I'm gonna open up this door and we're gonna shine a little bit of light underneath the rear end just so they can get a glimpse of how clean it is down there. Opening up this door just seems to let a little bit more light going on down there. And I just wanted you to see these joints, you know, just for this, for, for crying out loud. There, there's no rust down here. It's nice and black. It wasn't spray painted yesterday. Uh, you know, is there a, a little bit of patina to the exhaust system? Sure. But the rear end is nice and clean and black. Even the rotors are, you know, they have a little bit of patina on them, but boy, we've seen so much worse. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's beautiful. The tires have lots of tread on them from what I can see right here. Okay, thanks for doing that. All right, I'm gonna close this door back up because it's just not necessary. And let's work our way up the driver's side. Gonna look at this joint again. Uh, I see a real small chip right there that may or may not have had some touch-up paint put in it. Super, super small. And look at this, look at this chrome. It's crazy, look at these lenses. It's crazy, this is crazy, the car's crazy. Okay, and back up here, because this is very important. Uh, you know, tell me this doesn't look, you know, somewhat new here. I mean, these joints are always kind of go bad. Look at that. All this paint matches, folks. Come on down here. We're gonna work our way up the driver's side of the car. I've got a small nick right there that needs some touch-up paint. <laughs> okay, this is the rear driver's side quarter. Down here looks fabulous. Once again, the skirts look good, tires look good. Um, I didn't check the passenger side for this, and I don't remember and I don't recall. There are some light dings in the sides of the car. Now, what I mean by light dings, you really gotta look for them. You really gotta be a pain in the butt to look for them. Um, but there are some light ones. Uh, we, we do ding removal here. So if you're following along and paying attention to this whole video here, give us a call. We'll talk about having these really, really mild dings uh, addressed, but they're super mild. I'm not gonna even go over them with you. That's how mild they are. But they can be uh, fixed for even a, a, a straighter body. I have a couple small little nicks here. This is just normal road wear. You know, environment going this way. A couple small nicks, touch up paint time. This molding down the side is beautiful once again. And I've run my hand already down both sides of these cars, or both sides of this, uh, of this car. And uh, there's no bubbles getting ready to start to pop out or anything like this. There's no uh, uh, interesting things going on on this side of the car. It's just solid, it's all metal. And once again, I did hit it all with a magnet and uh, there's no putty going on anywhere. This is beautiful. Okay, we have a, a, a good piece of, uh, 
of uh, touch-up paint right here in this location, so uh, rightfully so. Very tastefully done, and uh, it looks good. And once again, this driver's side up front, this is almost, you know, this is close to a 10 out of 10 as well. I mean, it's just shocking how bright and shiny this is. I want to grab one of my microfiber towers, towels and get in here really in detail. It'll just make it gleam just a little bit more. It was very, very pretty. Look at this. Come on over here if you could. Right in here. Look, look how clean, nice and clean this is. Screws are nice and clean. There's no rust buildup. There's still white behind here. This is just a very, very well kept car. No, I don't smell any paint. I don't, you know, I know this is hard to relay over film, but uh, you know, if this car was reconditioned at any point, it was done a very, very long time ago. All right, uh, let's see, I'm gonna pop the hood now. Wait till you see this. This is nuts. There's your 472. Now, Quincy, I'm going to let you do kind of sort of this area here. You know, I'm going to talk about it just a little bit. Why, why the heck not? Um, okay, now look. Is, is a, a couple of these little brackets and bolts been patinaed? Yes. Are they a clean patina? Yes. Are they a rusty, uh, ugly mess? No. Uh, kind of halfway in between the two because they're not perfect. But then again, they're not all crudded up either. It's not because it was cleaned. It's just a, overall, it's a very clean car. You can see the top of the radiator here has been banged up a little bit. Not really sure how that happened. Uh, the battery's in good shape sitting here. Uh, we keep it nice and charged, 100%. It's all in good shape. Look at these uh, wheel cavities here, coverings. I can't remember what you call them, but uh, they are in super nice and clean. Got your master cylinder back there with some patina on it. This um, air cleaner's got some patina on it as well. But I mean, look, folks, I mean, this is this is just, I mean, this is awesome. Okay, now I did want to address one, one section up here. We, we talked about this uh, chrome piece right along here, but I wanted you to look in, okay? Um, I wanted you to be able to see in, in this area, if you could, Quincy, for me. And then we'll go over and look at it on the other side. I just wanted to show it's not as clean and stuff like that here, here in this cavity, but uh, but it is clean as far as rust and, and any of those things down here in this hole. So we come on over and look at the other side. I'm not really sure where you Cadillac guys worry about things so much, so I'm just kind of sort of showing you some joints. Here's your trim tag. And this whole area here is really sharp. Uh, I know it's, it's dirty, but it's all solid, and uh, I don't see anything I need to point out and anything for you to worry about. Okay. I do have the keys in my pocket. Let's look in the trunk. <clears throat> okay, here's the cover for the convertible top. Uh, once it's uh, once the convertible top is put down, and we've got a really nice clean trunk. Looks like a poly glass. Almost looks like a polyglass spare tire, but I'm not, I'm not really sure. It doesn't say it on it, but it looks like one. Okay, under here. Come on and take a look under here. Okay. Seems to have the original jack in here. The crowbar. And if you could look up underneath here too, Quincy. Yeah, it looks, seems to be the original sticker for the jack instructions and how clean and all these cavities are. Um, this uh, gasket, boy, this is about the worst of the gaskets here in this whole car. Check this out, okay? Uh, it's, it's, it's fine, plenty of patina, and then it gets a little crudded up right along here. So just to point that out, this might be one of the worst things I've seen on the car so far is just that gasket. Okay, close up the trunk. Oh. All right. Now, we're going to start it and put the convertible top down so you can see and make sure that it functions.
Let me open up this garage door real quick so we can let the exhaust out. Starts right up. We'll get to all the mechanics of this later, but I mean, these cars drive so beautifully. It's unreal. Really close to a 1970 new experience. Okay, top coming up. Oh. Going the wrong way. Sorry about that. All right. Now, while we're at it and the car is running, I'm just going to close this door real quick. I'm going to show you these windows. See, it goes down real nice. Now I'm going to try and go back up. Oh, it's okay. Hey, all right. Well, you know, guys, these windows can have their own little attitudes, you know. Can put it all the way down and go back up. See, it gets a little slow there. All right. It works. Just needs a little assistance. Let's go check out this rear passenger side. That's down. And you notice going back up, it gets a little slow. We're going to put it back down because I don't want to mess with that right now. Uh, passenger side, down, or driver's side. These work wonderfully. And there's the passenger side over there. Okay, quick little rev of the engine. Get the RPM down. Here, all nice that purrs. And when you're driving, folks, you can barely hear anything. It's really awesome. Okay, shutting it down. We've seen the engine, we've seen the trunk. Let's look at this interior. Now, if we could stand right here, Quincy, give a good shot inside of that interior and take a look at it, and then I'll pick it apart. Okay, here we go, Quincy. Uh, uh, here's the rear, uh, the, the back seat. And you know, um, it's got a cream thing going on. Half white, half cream thing going on. This is beautiful. The seat belts seem to be just fine. Now, because this is a creamy white interior, from now and then, you know, I see a little mark here and there from a seat belt, um, you know, a magic eraser and some really good nice uh, cleaning product or a professional detailer can get a lot of these extra little uh, marks out. But other than that, I mean, geez, how can you really pick this apart? Does it have a little patina to it? Sure. Can I point it out at the moment? No, not unless I go over every darn square inch. So just check out this video, pay attention to it. Now I will show you some crap, some crud, okay? Some, some things that have gone wrong. So right here, uh, I'm not really sure what was supposed to be here but this has uh, unfortunately come apart a little bit. Uh, it's eroded away, I guess, from getting in and out of the car. You can see how this is a little pretty banged up. Um, it's unfortunate, it is the way it is. And, uh, but I mean, it's not the end of the world. The carpet, although just a little bit of wear, just a little bit of, uh, of, of uh, marks, it probably needs a real good bath. Uh, the carpet is still intact. It doesn't smell funny in here. There's no mildew smell. There's no mold smell. These red pieces, the visor here looks perfect. This visor needs to be cleaned, but looks perfect. Uh, the red trim down here. Again, here's that crack on the dashboard that we've shown uh, multiple times now. I don't see any more. This is all beautiful and red. The brown uh, 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 the fake stuff around the dashboard looks terrific. I don't see it broken anywhere. All these buttons look terrific. This is just gorgeous. The front seat, uh, nice cream. Every once in a while, we see a little bit of wear. Again, I mean, just needs a little bit of cleaning. There's no holes, there's no rips, there's no tears, and there's no drastic marks, I tell you. 
This is a little, uh, this is a little to be desired right here. This is kind of starting to come apart a little bit. This is all part of kind of sort of this section here, but the rest of the door looks fabulous. Lights are still intact. Uh, very, 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 very nice. It's uh, coming apart a little bit here with this. Uh, this is this is all very normal of uh, these gaskets along here. Um, but both of these interior lights light up real nice. Let me let's go over to the passengers. Oh, hold it. So just a little bit of wear getting in and out. Um, there's no great big marks all on these seams right here. It's just in super, super shape. The uh, inside of the door jam here all looks good too. Yes, some patina. Yes, a little bit of wear. I'm sure the video is showing it off just uh, fine of, uh, you know, what it really looks like. Nothing to cause any alarm in here. All right, over to the passenger side. Same thing with over here. We're gonna let the camera do the talking, folks. Carpet looks good. Seats look good. Door jams look good. And this passenger side door inside it looks terrific. The slightest patina of all slightest patinas, which is just barely anything. Go to celebritycars.com if you haven't seen uh, these photographs yet, detailed photographs of this car. You can blow them up real good. You can look at all these things yourself. <clears throat> okay, well, we've covered it. We're going to go for a quick ride around the block and make sure it drives nice, make sure it brakes, make sure the steering wheel doesn't shake, make sure the brake pedal doesn't shake when you put your foot on it, and make sure. But uh, check it out. I'm going to, a little spoiler alert. I've already driven this car, and it's just amazing. It's amazing. We'll be right back. Okay, so now we're outside in the 1970 Cadillac, the white one with the white and red interior. Uh, <clears throat> Key in the ignition. The clock is not working on this car. We do have a radio. And I hear the air conditioner compressor come on. And I actually feel very cold air right away. Turn the air conditioner back off. Again, once again, we're still running here. And I don't see anything extra in this interior that I need to talk about. It's no funny smells. Sitting here idling beautifully. Put my foot on the brake. We're in drive, let's go, see what happens. I didn't feel it shift at all. Doing about 35 miles an hour, I'm gonna hit the brakes. Three, two, and one. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, so uh, my front right locked up a little bit. I haven't used the brakes yet, so they probably need to be a little more warmed up, drive around a little bit more. I'll get them back on them a little bit when we go to stop the car. It's very normal, the car's cold. Hasn't been running very long at all. It's running incredibly, shifting incredibly. No wobbles, no rattles. Speed bump number one. I do hear a little noise up front here. It's subtle, but it's a little knock, uh, not an engine knock, just a little something going on up here. I'm not really sure what it is. And let's get up to speed here. Beautiful driver. Super smooth. It puts back on the brake. My right hand turn signal's on. Brake feels great by the way. I know it did lock up earlier, but I got on really good. Uh, 
and let's see we're doing about uh, about 20 miles an hour one more time on the brakes here three two one yeah they just needed to be warmed up and you know you're not going to normally wait to the last second to slam on the brakes either so folks i've got nothing bad to say about this car whatsoever it drives beautifully uh the top down is 70 degree day jeez las vegas if you live in las vegas and you got you know some extra money in your pocket and you like to cruise the strip boy this is this has got you written all over it 702-818-1031 we're happy to answer any extra questions that you've got and uh 1970 cadillac deville convertible awesome see you next time